Alright guys, what is up? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a USB password stealer for web browsers. Um, basically what this does is, you know when you like log onto Facebook and it asks you if you want to save this password? Um, a lot of people say yes just because it's convenient. They click save password and then your computer actually stores it in the registry. Now you can't normally, now well Chrome and I think Firefox um, have places in the browser where you can actually view them. But if you just want to quick get somebody's passwords that they've saved, this is a great way to do it. So what you need is a USB drive. Any size does not matter. You, it doesn't have to be just for password stealing. Um, you can, if you just have a USB drive that you carry around full of like backed up files or PowerPoints or Word documents, whatever, you can just put this on there with it. So what you're going to do is you're going to download the folder in the description. And it's going to have two things. One is going to be launch and one is going to be web browser pass view. Now this program itself um, is what gets the password. For example, when I open it, um, there was a lot of stuff here. Um, this is all my usernames and passwords that I have stored on my computer. Now they're obviously blocked out to you guys because I don't just want to throw those out there. But um, yeah. So it tells you the username, the password, the password strength, the username field. So like for example, the username here is uh, my email or j j e nicholson at 17 or 17 at gmail.com. It tells you where that goes and that was an email thing. So now with the launch fo uh, what the launch, whoops, you can delete that. What the launch thing does is if you edit it, it's a notepad file. And what it does is it says start web browser pass view.exe. So it starts the, the program and then S text, I'm assuming stands for save text and web browser pass view.txt. So when you click launch, uh, command window quick pop pops up and then you have a text document, which if you open um, has all the email and the passwords and usernames and whatnot. So um, why you want to do the launch one, whoops, how do I go back, there we go, why do you want to do the launch one instead of just running the file, because all you have to do is plug the USB into someone's computer, um, click launch, and then as soon as you see that, you just unplug it and walk away, it takes literally, um, for the computer to read the USB drive, it might take 10 seconds, and you'll have everybody's passwords, so it's really quick and simple, guys, um, the only thing is the person needs to be logged on. All right. So if like if me and my mom shared a computer, like I couldn't get her passwords from my account, which is pretty obvious. But if you're if you're at a friend's house and be like, hey, can you log on to your computer really, uh, really quick so I can check Facebook? They'll be like, sure. And then you plug the USB in, uh, run it, take all their passwords. So, yeah, um, that's pretty much it, guys. So once again, just download this. Put it on a flash drive and then click launch on someone's computer. You can test it on yourself. Just delete the file um, that it makes. Just delete the text file. But that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.